You know, I've always said what separates a privileged child from an underprivileged child is opportunity. And it's very, very important, especially because the arts are really not incorporated in, into the uh, curriculum that at regular public schools. Out of the uh, uh, 15,000 plus students that we serve per year, 45% of them are Latino. We love displaying all of this here. This is a gathering area. So the arts opened me up. It really did. I was a, a, a ward of the state. So I grew up in Bushwick, and they were Title I schools and we did not have a lot. We had a lot more art programs than there are today, sadly to say. If it weren't for urban arts, I, I'm not even sure where I'd be right now, if I'd even be in college, just because of how crazy the college process is and how overwhelming it can be and um, going to Urban Arts I got a lot of help with that and I think they were just like crucial to just my acceptance into college. So. And to be able to sort of find a place where I could uh, you know develop you know my craft um, and then apply that afterwards you know it, that's it's helped, it's helped me get into school. It's helped me get internships. Um, yeah, and you meet tons of great people, and you know this place starts to become like your family. Here, here, and and you know, but it's important, especially um, in the climate that we are living in now. You know, we want to make sure that. This arts program, this urban arts partnership, continues to get funded. It takes a village, and, and it's very important for this village to stay together and not forget the kids. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.